right, thanks for tuning in, everyone. This is Anthony Smoke. Go ahead and check me out on anthonysmoke.com. Definitely hit subscribe here on YouTube. As always, if you learned something, go ahead, hit that like button, leave a comment, and make sure you ring the bell so you get that notification when I drop a new video. Today, back in Tableau, I uh, want to show you how we filter um, our viz and tooltip. So sometimes when you get the viz and tooltip going, um, you know, you'll show more marks than there are space for uh, in the in the tooltip. And so I want to show you this technique here um, where you'll see as I hover over different states here, it's showing me the top 10 uh, cities for each state. Now, if there aren't 10 cities, it's still going to show me uh, what uh, what is there? So even when I get down into these small cities here, uh, I still show uh, a value here, right? So I want to show you this uh, this tech this technique right here, uh, main. Uh, shout out to Stephen King, right? So how do how do we do something uh, like this? Well, let's let's build out this tree map here. We're going to build out the tree map first, and then uh, we'll do the uh, tool tip. So. Uh, I'm using Tableau Superstore, but as I explained in my previous video, there is a difference. Um, I'm using the, let me scroll back over here. I'm using budgeted profit. Well, I'm using profit and budgeted profit because I'm also going to show you some actuals to target uh, bar in, uh, in bar charts. So I'm using this budgeted profit and it's my own kind of uh, uh, calculation here. This is the original one that comes with the Superstore, and I change the values uh, here in this budgeted profit. So if you try with regular Superstore, it's gonna look uh, it's gonna look uh, different. But so, but you can pick uh, you know any two measures you want to try try and measure uh, to do an actuals to target. So uh, let's get in here. I'm gonna drag the sum of profits. Uh, let's drag that to rows, and then I'm gonna drag the state. Uh, there we go, state to columns. And then I'm going to come over here and select tree map, right? One of the few times I use the, uh, the show me, right? <laughs> and let's take the, um, let's take the state and let's, oh, we already have the state on label. That's great. Let's take the sum of profits. I'm holding down control and I'm putting that on label, right? So we have this situation going on here. I'm going to go in here and just do a little bit of formatting. Let's bring this over here, right? Uh, let's go bold and something like 12. See how that looks. All right, there we go. So now we have a tree map with, uh, uh, with our states and we have our profits. And you'll see we have this 10 negative here. And so I wanna show the negative values. Let's just use absolute values. So now we get uh, Texas uh, with, uh, with negative uh, profits here. And then, you know, I already have this styled up for the colors that I want, just showing you. I got a custom diverging using a gray to this, um, like I say, Oregon uh, green that I'm using here. So um, this is going to be my, my tree map. So now let's create a, a, um, a tooltip. So we want, we want our cities to show up here in the tooltip, right? So when we hover over here, we want, uh, let's say, the top 10 cities in California. Uh, to show up here in the tooltip. So let's go ahead and I'm going to find city. Uh, let's drag city to, uh, to rows here. I put on for my city. Shout out to, uh, to Jeezy. Uh, let's drag profit. Go down here and drag profit to columns and drag my budgeted profit. This is my budgeted profit. Let's also drag that to columns because we want to compare these two. So we're going to create a bar in bar chart, you know, actuals to target uh, comparison. So let's do a, oh, and I already have these turned off. Let me turn back on the, uh, the header here because I've done this uh, before, right? There's my profit, there's my budgeted profit. And let's do a dual axis, right? And we can change both of these to bars. So I'm going to come in here to sum a profit. And we'll go bar here. And we'll come down here to sum a budget. And we'll also do a bar. And you're like, okay, what, what is going on here? That doesn't uh, make sense. Uh, let's also, yeah, whenever we do a dual axis, let's make sure to synchronize the axes, right? So we have those synchronized and, and everyone is happy there. So now I'm going to come in here 
uh, let's go up to profit. I want to drag the measure names off of profit and I'm going to replace it with this calculated field that I have. And I showed this in the last video. Basically, it's a Boolean. I'm going to use a color to determine if something is profitable or not. So to determine if something is profitable, uh, if my profits are greater than equal to my budgeted profit and the profits greater than zero. So that's how I'm determining if something is profitable. Your mileage may vary on what you want to use as profitable. So I'm going to take that profitable and let's put that on the color here, right? And you see I have a true false. Uh, you can obviously change change the colors uh, if, if you wanted to. I, I like my colors, but, um, you know, I have this green. I have a gray for, for true and false here, right? And then, okay, so you're like, all right, what, what is going on here still? And let's change the background so this so this pops a little bit. So I'm going to go in here. I'm going to format. And let's go to the format shading on the worksheet. And why doesn't it like me? Because I'm going to go over here to sheet. And let's go with the third one down here. So you see, all right, so things start showing up. I'm also going to do a format here. And let's turn this to, um, let's make this white. There you go. So, so that shows up uh, as well. And let's make our budgeted profit. So we're going to go down here to our budgeted profit. Let's make that size a little smaller here. Right. So like I said, we have bar in uh, in bar here. So the actual the in bar right here is our budgeted profit. And this is the actual profit. So in Arlington, right, we exceeded our budget. That's good. We made more profits than we were budgeted to do. That's that's good. Right. All right. So we have we have that. So now we can do a, a little bit of cleanup here. First, I want to sort by my profit. So let's sort everything by profit, right? So we have that. Now I can get rid of that. Don't need that. Um, we can do a little bit of formatting here. You gotta love the formatting. Uh, let's start with the borders here. Go down to column dividers, go none. Don't want to see any of that. Um, is there anything else in here? Row dividers, let's go none. All right, then I come down here. Uh, I want to make sure I don't have any grid lines. Let's go none there. There we go. So now we're nice and clean. Uh, that, that pops a little bit. All right, so now we have this list of cities, and we have the bar in uh, bar, in bar uh, letting me know which cities are profitable and which ones uh, did not meet their profitability or did not meet their target, essentially, right? So you can be profitable and not meet your target, um, like Springfield, right? It's, it's, it's above zero, but it didn't meet its budgeted target. So that's, that's, where, that's why we're calling that uh, gray here. So now let's go to the tree map and insert our tooltip. I'm going to go back here, and so we can go to the tooltip and... Here, let's just do this real quick. Let's make that bold. Something like 12. That's fine. Oops, did I make that bold? Yeah, I guess that's bold. All right, let's do this. Let's insert uh, sheet. And what are we calling this? Our city profit versus target tooltip. And you can always change these heights uh, if you want to. I got 300 by 300 here, but we're going to go with this for now. And so now when you look at this, you'll see... Um, you see that viz is too large to show. So I only want to show maybe my top 10 cities per state, right? And so you'll see that I have way more than, than 10 uh, on, uh, on some of these states that have a lot of cities. I only want to show my top 10. I don't want to see that viz is, is too large uh, to show, right? So how do we fix that? So let's go back to our... Um, uh, to our bar and bar chart and let's put a filter see the city uh, let's go ahead and put a filter here let's go to top top 10 by profits sum of profits say okay all right and what we end up here this is a listing of the top 10 cities overall right regardless of state and so this doesn't quite do it for us right um, so if I go back over here, you'll see, all right, I go to Cali, I'm only showing LA, San Francisco, and San Diego, right? I need to go to the Bay Area and back down, right? Um, yeah, you know, some of you are probably uh, too young to understand my 90s uh, references here, but uh, leave a comment if you know what California knows how to, what California knows how to do, right? Some of you are either too young 
or from another country and don't understand my 90s rap references, right? But, you know, I want more cities here. I want top 10 cities and it's not showing, right? So I go to New York, it's only showing me New York City. Why? Because when I go back over here, there's only New York City um, in, in New York. So what I need it to do is say, hey, regardless, I need it to say, hey, consider which state I'm on first and then do your top 10. So how do we do that? We do that with the magic of context filters. And so I need you to go back. This is very important. I need you to go back and watch my video on context filters, right? Go back and watch that video so you understand what the context filter is doing. So when you go viz in tooltip, you'll notice that it puts, the tooltip will automatically put a filter here. And so if we change this or add to context, right? Nothing changes here. But essentially what we've done, well, I'm not even going to tell you. Go watch my context, go watch my context uh, filter uh, video to understand what's going on with the context filter. Basically we're saying, um, you know, consider the state first. So now when I come in here, that's looking much better, right? California, I only have 10 cities here. I go down to New York, right? Other than New York City, right? These other cities are very small, but they show up because... I'm considering the state first, right? The state takes precedence and then that top 15, I'm sorry, then that top 10 filter applies um, as part of the Tableau order of operations. So there you go. Um, as I scroll through all of these, you can see that I'm getting at least 10 and, um, well, not at least 10, I'm getting 10 if there are more than 10. And if there are less, then I'm then I'm getting values for my for my smaller cities as as well. So this has been Anthony Smoke. Hope you enjoyed this tip. You learn two things. You learn how to filter uh, with the viz and tooltip, and you learn how to do actuals versus target bar in bar charts here. So that's a that's a two for one deal here. Hope you enjoyed those tips. Get out there, do some great things with your data. Thanks for watching, everyone.